We're now going to talk about some basic arithmetic uh, problems and situations you have when you have equations or uh, anything of the like fractions and trying to make them in. And we're going to talk all in variables here. So this is uh, arithmetic operations. Um, what I'm trying to say is that if you have, um, let's say you have A onto B plus C, a monomial times a binomial. And we'll say just for simplicity, this equals zero. So we know that we can factor this into both things by multiplying into both sections of the binomial. So it's going to be AB plus AC equals zero. It's just a way to rearrange equations, um, not for factoring, but just for in general mathematics. Another way we can do it is to divide out our fractions. Let's say, well, let's talk fractions for a second. So we've got A plus B over C. Well, this is the same thing as saying A over C plus B over C. You can split the fractions of the pluses on the top. I get a lot of questions that's wrong when people say this. We have A, oops, let's say we have A over B plus C. This does not equal A over B plus A over C. Uh, we can show that in a little bit of a demo here. Let's say we have uh, 3 over 4 plus 2. Okay, or let's do it even simpler. Let's put 2 over 4 plus 2. So 2 over 4 plus 2, if we sum this up, we get 2 out of 6, which is equal to 1 third. If we do it the way this was, which is the incorrect way, we would get 2 over 4 plus 2 is equal to 2 over 4 plus 2 over 2. This is 1, this is a half, this would equal 1 and a half, or 3 halves. And these two things are not the same, therefore we know that this can never be the correct operation. So this is the wrong way to do it. This is the right way to do it. So uh, that's one way. Let's talk about fractions when they're being added in general. So if we have a over b, whoops, that's a bad b, a over b plus c over d, and we want to find out what, that, what that's equal to. How do we put these two fractions together? It's through a common denominator. So the common denominator here is b times d. So we'll have to multiply the tops of both of these parts of the equations by d first and then by b. So let's start with b. So we're going to have b a over b plus b c over b d, like that. Because we have to multiply the top and bottom by b here. We don't have to multiply, sorry, it's not b, it's a b over b c over b d. Then we have to multiply the top and bottom by d of this equation, dA over dB. dB and bD are obviously the same thing because multiplication doesn't matter, that order. So we can write this again as saying um, AD over BD plus BC over BD. These are the same denominator, so we can add those together to get AD plus BC over BD. So to let that sink in for a second, you're sort of cross-multiplying what happens here. Um, cross-multiplying is a bad term, really, but you've got b times d as the denominator, and you've got a times d and b times c, and those are our numbers that go on the top, the numerator. So that's how that works. Um, also, if you have subtraction, you can do all the same things that we did, but let's talk about... Um, fractions over fractions. So let's say you have a over b all over c over d. Now that is a, looks like a complicated thing sometimes, but what we can do is when you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal of a fraction. And if reciprocal is just, if I have 1 over 3, the reciprocal is 3 over 1. So you just flip the fraction, that's all that happens. So um, let's say, what does this equal? It equals a over b multiplied by, I use a dot for multiplication, it's just easy to do, multiplied by d, oops, d over c. So when we multiply that out, we're going to get a d over b c. So that took a very complicated thing and made it super simple. And that's the basics of how to manipulate fractions and, and work with uh, algebra, algebraic expressions.